So I've been very busy lately and I haven't had time to really rebuild my website. So what I did is I decided to rebuild my website using a trending WordPress theme called the Essentials theme. The Essentials theme took around two years to build and quickly became one of the top WordPress themes on ThemeForest. With the features it offered and the templates it provided, I decided to add it to my current WordPress website and just mess around with it. So today I'll be doing my review report on things I liked about the Essentials WordPress themes and things I did not like about it and get your opinion on this WordPress theme. And also feel free to vote whether you would use this theme or not in the community tab. I'll go ahead and leave a poll and you can see what others thought about this theme and also my review. Now I've used this theme for about two weeks now, so I can say with confidence that I'm familiar with it. So with that said, let me go ahead and share you my experience of the pros and the cons of the essential WordPress theme. And that'll give you an overall verdict of whether you should purchase this theme or not for your WordPress website. The Essentials theme first starts out by wanting you to install some plugins and activate the theme. It has several recommended plugins, but you don't need to install all of them to make the theme functional. It does have some heavy server requirements like 64 megabytes max file size upload and a memory limit requirement of 256 megabytes, but I'll touch base on this a little later in the review. The theme does offer some unique features like page transitions and shape dividers for specific pages. The theme also offers unique elements like gradient text and even animated gradient shape dividers. So with that said, let's first talk about some pros about the Essentials WordPress theme. So number one, the amazing header and footer builder plus templates for the header and footer. The header and footer builder for the Essentials theme is very dynamic and versatile. You can build a custom header and footer from scratch that also offers tons of really cool elements. It has a specific header and footer builder for each specific device. It offers tons of really nicely designed header and footers for pretty much every niche. You can also have various header styles, a sticky menu, and even a sticky mobile menu. Number two, the massive library of templates. These templates are beautiful. The designers have introduced some real neat designs and are really pushing the creativity of web design. You can select from several templates or use pre-made blocks. You can choose from virtually any category, so you should find a template or block for virtually any WordPress website niche. Number three, nicely designed elements. The elements that come with Essentials are uniquely nicely styled and they look great. The Essentials theme offers elements that can make your site look a lot more modern and cleaner. If you like flashy animations, they do offer various elements that can really wow your audience. There are a lot to choose from, so I'm sure you'll find something to fit your needs. Number four, the page styles and the theme customizer options. Every specific page has options to have a custom header and footer or even specific menus. You can adjust padding for specific pages and also add section slides and dark section slides to each page. With all the options and control you have over the website, you won't have a problem with super picky clients. Essentials also offers various blog styles which look great and modern. It works well with images to make sure your blog looks professional and modern. Are you running an e-commerce website? No problem. You can choose from various styling options that'll make your store look real modern. You can add dividers, different add to cart icons, and gradient text anywhere you like. Overall, it's not a bad pick for your e-commerce website. Number five, great support. I will admit the theme does have a learning curve. It took me about three days to fully understand all aspects of the theme but the developers did help me out every step of the way. They were prompt and very helpful. So now that we talked about the pros, let's talk about the cons of the Essential WordPress theme. Con number one, bloated and loads too much. This theme is massive. The Essentials theme by default is around 30 megabytes, which is very large compared to a regular WordPress theme of around three to five megabytes. Another issue is that many of the elements just load too much fonts and CSS by default. For example, my homepage loads around one megabyte of CSS and JavaScript, but as you can tell, I really don't have a lot on here. Here is a ping number port of my front page on my website. And just by looking at it, you'll see that the website loads at around one to two seconds, but by default, I have around one megabyte of CSS and JavaScript being loaded. However, if you have a good server, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. If you're using companies like HostGator, we'll just forget about this theme because those crappy servers will not be able to handle the Essentials WordPress theme. Con number two, a learning curve. Many of the times the theme customizers and also the page settings can contradict each other. I had issues adjusting certain parts of my website because other parts might conflict what you're actually trying to do. For example, if you have a specific setting on the theme customizer, or if you want to change a page setting, some changes might not apply because one might override the other. But of course, after messing around with WordPress stuff like we all do, you can probably get the hang of the theme settings and the page settings within a few hours. 
Con number three, glitchy. I'll be honest, the theme is glitchy. Many of the shape dividers and the theme customizers don't even display. Also, when you make your changes with a theme customizer, you have to click publish and save it and maybe clear the cache once or twice, and then you'll see the changes appear. Also, sometimes color styles don't work. After various attempts to customize each part of the website, I found myself having problems with certain changes not being made. For example, the custom colors on the theme builder for the archives simply doesn't work. I tried many times to make it work, but after support, we got some code to make it work by default, so you might have problems with this. Con number four, the elements need to be more customizable. The elements are nice, but they are too conditioned. They are not very flexible and they cannot be customized with mobile devices. Some elements I think are too similar to Elementor's Pro version. I do like the fact that you can style within the elements, but if you have a client who wants a very customizable element that will go in detail, you might have a hard time with this. They also have no mobile customization. However, the elements are responsive out of the box, so it's not too bad when you think about it. What's my overall verdict? I give this theme a solid B. It's great for websites. If you want a stylish website with a modern design, I think it's a great pick. It does need work as far as optimization goes, but since the theme just came out, we can expect this theme to be better optimized over time. So what did you guys think of this theme? Would you guys use this theme on your current WordPress website? Would you use it on a client's website? Let me know in the comments below. And also feel free to go ahead and vote on what you thought about this WordPress theme in the community tab of my uh, YouTube channel. Now also, if you guys wanna see more views like this, let me know in the comments below. I don't really do a lot of reviews on WordPress theme just because, just because, <laughs> you know, so. So this is the review report with Daryl Wilson and I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take it easy.